Welcome back to What Are Noobs with General Disturbance. This is an Object 430U. It's a Soviet Tier 10 medium tank, and we're located on the south spawn of Himmelsdorf Encounter. And the name of the commander is Oppenheimer. Now he's moving up to engage on top of the hill, got two marks on his barrel. Now the 430U, it's more of a um, heavy medium, you might say. Jack of all trades. Very heavily armoured with a 120mm gun capable of 440 Alpha. And the enemy's come up onto the hill. And I think he's going to wait at this position for the enemy to turn up. Has he got any company? Hopefully. Yep, he's got some teammates with him. And he gets a nice run into the Centurion Action 10, 440, 441 actually. Right, now IS-7 is going to be a very much tougher nut to crack. And he's bounced two rounds off the turret. That rounded turret is very difficult to penetrate. Trying to get through the armour of the Centurion Action 10 is going to be difficult as well. Because that sloped turret makes it very difficult to hit. Go for the lower plate of the IS-7, gets a hit! 465 and it looks like the action 10 was taken out by our leopard but we did take a round there from the E100 a heat round went right over the turret exploded on the turret on the cupola but the enemy's been pushed back now I think that uh, E100 is reloading at the moment and we're side scraping off the 277 put a round into the lower plate of the tight uh, T57 heavy Going again. Oh, now we took another heat round, this time from the T57. And that one went in through the side. And took out the T62A out of the game altogether. It's a real ding dong battle up here. Go for the lower plates. No, upper plate. 456. He managed to get it through because the IS7 angled badly. Go for the uh, observation device of the E100, 428, low roll. Can he get another shot of the I7? Yes he does, 463, high roll. E100, no he doesn't get it through, it's just act too well angled that one. Can he get it the second time? Yes, this time it worked, 410. Going for the observation. Yep, 393, but it's a low roll. Still a huge number of hit points. Oh, we just lost our 277. But we do put a round into the uh, E100 for 430. Now he's still going to take a few more shots to kill that E100. 420 that one. We've got the turret wreck there in the way. That's the uh, wreck from the uh, Action 10. We put one into the 415, 415 into the E100. He's now one shot. We can get the kill shot if we can get it through. Lower plate. Yes! Now he's using his hammer and he's used up most of it. He's only got three rounds left. But here comes the Type ty 57. Puts one through the uh, front uh, plate. Through the lower plate, actually. Now he's in a face to face. Unfortunately, that one didn't go through. Uh, Type 57 heavy, T 57 heavy goes down. It's shot in the rear. The grill of. Uh, who was it got him? It was the T 95 got him. And now they're shooting enemy tanks down on the railway lines. And that was the last one. It's all over. My god, that was hectic. Almost feel like I need a replay just to see exactly what happened. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the end of battle stacks. It's a first class tanker for Arpenheimer in the Object 430U. He also managed to get a shell proof for blocking more damage than the hit points to his own vehicle, a fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points to his own vehicle, and he ended up with a Spartan by blocking uh, an enemy shot 
when he had less than 10% of his hit points left and he did get the high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle and the win 8 for that battle was 6137 and uh, let's have a look at the uh, team score well, top of the table, look at that, 7,222 hit points of damage. He really monstered that game. The next highest score was the 268, who managed 4415, and then the T95E6, who helped out at the end and killed that uh, T57. He got 4239. Uh, when it came to kills, it was actually, uh, well, a joint affair, actually. We've got three tanks with two kills apiece, the 430U, the 268, and the E100. No tanks on the enemy team managed to get at least two kills. Uh, the most, the best they could get was one kill. Uh, but when it came to base XP, again, Arpenheimer scored highly, 1,200 base experience points. Then we've got the T95E6 with uh, 1,035, and the Object 268 with 959. Let's have a look at detail. Well, he fired 21 rounds. He got 21 direct hits, 17 penetrations. Shows that he's got very good accuracy. Well, it was a very good close encounter battle, you might say. Um, so every shot he fired hit the target, but only 17 of them went through. And that's because some of them were angling their armor very effectively, especially that E100 uh, towards the end. The IS-7 angled his armor very badly towards the end because he was getting rounds through his upper plates uh, virtually all the time. Uh, and uh, I think uh, Oppenheimer noticed that, so he was aiming for the upper plate rather than the lower plate because it made it easier for him. Uh, and uh, he did 7,222 hit points of damage, of which 472 were at more than 300 meters. Those are the shots that he fired, I think, at the um, railway yard. Um, he blocked damage of 2,520 hit points. He damaged six of the enemy, killed two of them. And on a premium count, he earned 92,024 credits. And after repair, ammunition, resupply, he actually had a deficit, a loss, of 33,580 credits from that battle. Uh, so a big loss because he did use an awful lot of heat ammo. He needed to. He wouldn't have got through those armor with just standard rounds. You just can't get through that armor with those standard rounds. Not unless you want to win because you will probably be killed very quickly by the enemy using heat rounds. And of course, remember, the enemy did use heat rounds on him. Both the T-57 and the E-100 were firing heat rounds and they did penetrate. So uh, he picked up two bonds for the um, for the battle, uh, for the awards rather, and 15 bonds for the battle because it was tier 10. Uh, so 17 bonds in total, and he earned 1800 XP times two for the first victory, took away 3600 experience points altogether. So yeah, it exactly shows what the uh, uh, 430U is all about. It's basically a heavy medium. It's a fast moving heavy tank, you might say, but it's actually counted as a medium tank on the tech tree uh, but it's certainly one tank that's worth getting just to to find out how it plays but you're not going to get away with not playing this thing with premium ammo because really to be honest if you're going to be going out there and facing other 430 U's, if you're not firing premium rounds you're just simply not going to win and Oppenheimer did win this battle very very nicely even though it cost him a huge amount of credits but uh, yeah, it was worth watching it was a very fast battle and I was having difficulty catching up with what was going on <laughs> and I enjoyed it so if you enjoyed it please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video